Hello, good evening everybody. Today we're going to be looking at base 10, base 5, and how to transfer numbers in base 10 to base 5, okay? So this is base 10, okay? Uh, base 10 goes through numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Nope, we don't go to 10. We start with zero, so that's that's ten digits, okay? Um, strangely enough, fingers are called digits, okay? So before we had numbers, like a number system, we had fingers, all right? So that's why we're in base ten. Um, basically, it goes like this, zero, one, two, three, and then it ends up with nine. I know we usually count to ten on our fingers, but we're including zero, all right? Zero is such an important number. We can't forget that, okay? So... We're going to be looking at a number. We're first going to look at it in base 10, and then we're going to transfer it to base 5. This number will be 1,322, okay? So we have to know placement values before we go in really any further, all right? We're, we're pretty familiar with these placement values in base 10 by now. We've been using them for a while. And if not, that's okay. You're going to learn right now. It's super easy. First, there's the 1s placement then there's the tens placement the hundreds placement the thousands placement and then we're going to go all the, all the way to the ten thousands just for giggles okay if you're a real sleuth you can see that uh well one is ten to the zero ten is ten to the first one hundred is ten to the second one thousand is ten to the third and ten thousand is yep ten to the fourth you little sleuth cool so we are going to break this number down according to the placements uh, does it have any ten thousands? Nope, it doesn't. We're gonna go next to one thousand. So there's one one thousand there. So I'm gonna write one times one thousand. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna subtract this right here. And it's gonna end up with three twenty two. Cool. Next, we're gonna we're gonna add how many hundreds? Let's see how many hundreds are in there. Oh, there's three of them. So three times one hundred. Okay. So we're going to take that 300 out. We're going to be left with 22. How many tens go into 22, you ask? Well, two. Two tens go into 22. So we're going to get 10 times two, all right? And finally, now that we're ending up with two right here, how many ones go into that? Well, two ones go into that, okay? And now we're done with the number. If we added all these up, we'd have that number right there. We're going to head off to base five okay so before i told you i kind of bragged that i have all 10 of my fingers um if we were a different kind of creature some sort of mutant or maybe an alien maybe we'd have five fingers i know it's kind of it's kind of irregular and really just kind of sickening but i guess it'll be better than having a half finger on both sides so with five we can only go to five digits okay those digits are going to be zero one two, three, four, nope, there's no five in base five, just like there's no 10 in base 10, okay? Um, so with base five, we're, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna make this number into base five, 1,322, and we need to figure out the placements for base five. So first we're gonna start with one. Wow, it's the same as up there. What a quinky dink. The reason why is because it's five to the zero, okay? Uh, zero, one any number to the zero is going to be one okay that's just it's kind of it's a math thing i guess then we're gonna have five which i mean 10 to the first is 10 so five to the first is five next we're gonna have 25 we're gonna have 125 they're going to go all the way to 625 okay so i mean this is all fact right here but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the trick, all right? It's it's a mathematical process, um, but it's it's really this next part is really just kind of a trick, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna write this number again, one thousand three hundred and twenty-two, okay? There it is, bang. Now we're gonna figure out which of these numbers is the biggest and still fits in there. Six twenty-five actually fits in there twice, okay? I only know that because I've done this problem a couple times, so. We're going to do 2 times 625. Now, in this process, just like up here, we want to put the placement after 
the number of times that placement shows up, all right? It, let's, let's keep it in that order, okay? So number of times placement shows up and then the placement. You could, you could even flip it, but they just need to be in the same order. So we've got 1,250 because that is two times 625, and we're gonna end up with 72. Okay, how many times does 125 go into 72? Zero. Are we gonna write nothing? No. We're gonna write zero times 125, and that comes down to placement values, all right? It's gonna throw everything off if we lose that placement. Next, how many 25s go into 72? Oh, funny you would ask. There's gonna be two of them, so two times 25, I think I said 20 earlier, is going to be 50. Uh, we're going to be left with 22, okay? Plus, how many fives go into 22? Four fives go into 22. So we're going to have 20, and we're going to end up being left with two. How many ones go into two? Okay, two of them. So plus two times one. Now, here's the trick, all right? It's, 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 it's really simple. It's 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 silly, but it's simple. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna underline this number, the times. We're gonna underline this times, this times, this times, that time, and then, well, hey, we're just gonna write them down: two, zero, two, four, two. And I I, I shouldn't have put that comma right there. So, um, two zero two four two and base five equals. 1,322 in base 10, okay? Um, you're gonna see that the numbers in base five, when they have an equivalence to the numbers in base 10, they're gonna be a lot bigger, all right? And that, that's pretty much it. All you have to do is write down how many times these go into the number, and then you just write down, you just kind of copy these, these first digits, and that's 